Let's open the Novo DS PC software and create a new playlist. You will see two tabs at the top of the software window, one for DS playlists and the other for DS devices. Select the DS playlist tab. Next, create a new playlist by clicking on the plus playlist button. For simplicity and demonstration, we will choose the template with a single zone. Click on that template and then click on the create button in the bottom right. Now you can add local media. This specifically refers to those pictures and videos stored on your local computer. If you add media files this way, they are loaded into the playlist and become embedded and don't rely on being stored on your local computer drive. Novo DS also allows you to add remote media, which means that you can include media files from a network server or Dropbox folder. In either case, you can set the playback duration for each picture, view type, which is the option to add transitions, scale type to determine how pictures fit or fill a zone, and whether video is stretched to fill the zone or maintains its original aspect ratio. Next, you can define the properties of the data source. Novo DS currently supports FTP or Samba servers as well as public folders from Dropbox. Let's use an FTP server as an example. First, select the FTP radio button. Then, Input the full FTP address. Enter your login username and password. Please note that you can define the interval used for refreshing content. By default, Novo DS will retrieve new media files from the server every 15 minutes. You can set that as appropriate. Now let's preview this playlist. Enter in the destination IP address, then click Play. You can see in the inset window on the right the actual playback of the Novo DS. Notice that Novo DS will connect to the server to download the new media files. Once it has downloaded one, it will start the playlist while downloading others. The notification for download only appears the first time a new media file is loaded. That's all for remote media.